Howdy y'all, this is Ethan Von Real, back at it again with the Coming Out on Top videos. So, I've definitely been putting this off, and I do apologize for that. Life kinda intervened in me putting videos out, but I'm gonna try to ease myself back into doing this, because I promised I would, and y'all clearly have been wanting me to finish this. But, there are several things going on here, so the first thing is, if you don't remember, we left off with Alex. I'm going to put that to the side for a bit, because the creator of this game released some new content called the Brofinder Dates, uh, basically like these dates you can go on that are inconsequential to the main story. And I want to show those off in part because I don't see that many YouTube videos of them up, and then two, um, because it's a good bit shorter than going through the main storyline, um, which would take about five episodes, which is about an hour and a half of gameplay, basically. So, let me show you who we can date here. Check out the profiles of dateable guys. There you go. So, we have Luke, Frankie, Tommy, and Jake. We're going to start from bottom to top and basically go through all these fellas. Um, we're on a rampage looking for, for man attention. So it looks like, man, he is juicy. Uh, so it looks like this fellow's name is Luke, he's a rugby player, and he wants to stream flicks and chill. And that is definitely what I'm about, so we are gonna hit him up. Oh my, there we go, so we're gonna message Luke, rugby player, let's see what he's up to. He messaged Luke, after exchanging pleasantries and basic information, he invites you to his place to stream flicks and chill. Well, that was easy for once. Go on a date with Luke, oh hell yeah. You find yourself on the porch of a stately brick frat house on the near side of campus. Let's see, we're gonna pretend to watch a movie, then probably get right down to business. Sounds like I just gotta play it cool and go with the flow. Oh my god, he is so juicy. Man, he could beat a, a village of zombie children with his pectoral muscles. Anyway, um, hey, you must be Mark. Good to meet you, I'm Luke. You struggle not to melt at the sound of his Irish accent. Uh, hi. Uh, you alright, lad? You sound out of breath. Oh my god, he is trying to entice me. Stop that. Alright, so, uh, quick aside before we keep moving here. So, the Brofinder dates have several endings. The most ideal, or the good ending, is you have sex, basically. Like, if you get laid, you basically win, in air quotes. Um, you can easily not get laid, or alternatively, in some of them, you can actually fucking die. So you don't want those endings. This is going to be a guide, basically, how to get laid. So you'll see how that works out. So you're going to compliment his accent, but not be a creep about it. Nice accent. Thanks. Oh, I bet you're tired of hearing that. Oh, it's quite all right. People around here think I'm smarter because of it. Heh. <laughs> Uh, incidentally, what are we watching? While I sleep. Oh, I've never heard about it. What's it about? Oh, it's about a narcoleptic rugby player who struggles to overcome his disability and lead his collegiate team to the national championship. At least that's what the Streamflix player said. Sounds hilarious. Super swag, why are you such an ableist? What the fuck? It's not a comedy. Uh, don't you think this scenario is so convoluted? Convoluted? How? Um, well, I mean, I guess it sounds like it could be inspiring, but, like, underdog stories always get me right in the heart. Let's hope it doesn't disappoint. I've been dying to stop that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I have a weakness for very erotic men with hairy chests and armpits. Um, so I've been dying to have a run at this movie, um, but no one around here seems interested. Haha, uh, they're lost. And I heard about this Brofinder app, so I thought maybe some bros on it would be game. Well, I'm definitely game. Oh boy, am I game. Brilliant, come on in. You follow him inside. Luke's massive body fills the corridor, and you can't help but run your eyes up and down his physique several times. After walking past several doors in a dining hall, you wind up in a room crammed with a TV, couch, and ping pong table. Welcome to
to the communal lounge. Cool. Wait, did you say communal lounge, meaning you share this room with everyone in the house? Yeah, of course. This is a fraternity, after all. You're not gonna, like, lock the door, or... What? Why? Why would I lock it? As a fraternity, we have... We all check up on each other. A lot. Get into each other's business, and that sort of thing. And who knows? Maybe I can get one of the guys to join us. Oh my gosh, super swag space. You look so pleased. Um, it's a good thing I brought that extra axle brace. So, uh, settle in, lad. You want a drink? I hope this doesn't sound weird, but can I, like, have some coffee or hot chocolate? It's kind of freezing in here. Uh, nah, no coffee or hot chocolate, but, uh, you're right, it is kind of cold. Uh, the heater's out of service, but I'll be right back and grab you a blanket. Luke digs into a cabinet and tosses you a blanket. You plop yourself down on the couch. So, you play rugby yourself, right? Oh yeah, lad, listen. I'm first team varsity here at Orland, and I don't fuck about when I'm on the field. Maybe I should come see a game sometime, expand my cultural horizons a bit. Do that, and you won't regret it. It's a game. Great game. Pathetic the way it's looked on here, but, you know, what can you do? Anyway, I'm still getting used to the differences in American culture. Like this fraternity business. It's not as big of a thing back where I live, but I was invited to pledge and said, why not? Let's have a first-hand look at the American college experience. After all, I want to open myself up to new things. Winky face. Embrace the differences. Go with the flow, no matter what. Um, so this is very important. So this is, like, basically the deciding factor in whether or not you get to have sex. Because you need to have him open to new experiences. And by experiences, I mean the glories of man love. So you are going to open her horizons in the hope that you are going to open your butthole for him. So good to hear. If you don't try new things, you just wind up doing the same shit every day. Right, you just fall in the same routine and stop noticing anything that's actually happening. So, now that you've been in the U.S. for a bit, what do you think? Oh, it's great. They say the Irish are friendly, but you guys seem to take it to a whole new level. On the other hand, the bars here don't serve alcohol after 2 a.m. It's fucking barbaric. Um, okay. Okay, but I've been going on about nothing. Let's go ahead and get the movie started. Luke fires up while I sleep on stream flicks. The opening scene shows the main character, Goff, as a young boy dreaming about becoming an international rugby superstar. Unfortunately, during his first game as a wee whippersnapper, he collapses into a slumbering heap on the field. You watch Luke out of the corner of your eye, waiting for him to make the first move. It's hard not to stare. It really is. I really want to, like, crawl down the V of his shirt and just lay my eggs there. Um, the Herculean sweep of his chest, the meaty swell of his thighs. Oh, oh no, get up, you little chiseler. <laughs> you glance up. While glancing over, Luke catches you staring. Is there something the matter, lad? Uh, so this one actually is a little bit deceptive. You might have caught on that you need to be a little bit chill with this bro. Um, but you can and compliment him. He will react positively to that. Uh, I'm just impressed by your freaking thighs. They're incredible. Honestly, look at them. Yeah, they are huge, right? Leg strength is terrible. Or is it terribly important in rugby? Looks like you're doing a great job with that. Thanks. Every day is leg day for me. Seriously. Squats, thrust, extensions, curls. It's all about building that mass. Yeah, boy. You build that mass. Um, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, you're fine. No, the first thing, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, if you say so. The movie continues. Luke appears to be deeply absorbed in the plot as it follows Goff's adolescence to make sh his, oh, adolescent journey to make his high school rugby team. God, Luke seems to be really into this corny movie. Or maybe he's just nervous. Maybe I should be the bold one and make a move. Don't, this is a trap. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't touch him. Do nothing. Um, the movie continues. Goff 
plays his first big rugby, rugby match as a college freshman. Marianne, the coach's daughter, watches from the stands. Will Goff be able to impress her? Go wide out, Goff. You can do it. You can fucking do it. Don't pass out. Dot dot dot. Goff jukes and weaves and blasts through the defenders before finally scoring. Fuck yeah! Um, so don't do it. Don't do it. Don't fall for the bait. Just, just go with his vibes. Cheer. Damn, that was incredible. I know, right? Amazing. You bump fist. Shortly after, a scene comes on where Goff, bruised and battered, the day after a particularly rough match, complains of his soreness. See that right there? That's me after every match. I just played yesterday and that's exactly how I'm feeling. A, a lot of soreness? Tightness? Bruises? All of it. I think of it like proof of your effort. The sacrifice you make for the love of your game. Oh. Um, I mean, I could help you with that, friend. Winky face. Um, so this is not a trap. He brought it up, so you're gonna work with it. So go ahead and offer to give him a massage. Oh, that'd be brilliant, Mark. Um, you scoot next to Luke, and he turns his back to you, his muscles rippling and showing through his shirt. You put your hands on his bulky, tight traps and begin working into them. Maybe he is into me. You Americans sure are friendly. None of my lads back in Waterford would do this. Just make sure you uh, get some of our warm, friendly Orland hospitality, you know? Courtesy of Super Swag Johnson. You push hard into his muscles and can feel Luke tense and relax as you massage him. Ah, feels like I'm being a bit spoiled by your bicep work. Don't know why, but they've been fucking killing me. You squeeze and rub Luke's epochal arms. Epochal? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Anyway, you squeeze his juicy arms. It takes two hands to wrap all the way around them. Not to sound pushy, but could you get into my back too? I mean, that's a possibility. Oh my god. <laughs> he is such a sleaze. What the fuck? Um, you rub and squeeze Luke's back, remembering the feel of each muscle on your fingers, thrilling at the touch. He's so briny and tight, you just want to rub him harder and harder and feel every inch of him. Yes, yes, yes. I almost said yes, I forgot bros don't say yes. Um, anyway, you nearly groan from the insistent pressure of your cock pressing against your jeans. As you memorize every bulge and serration of his torso, you work your fingers down further, making a beeline to his ass, prepared to crawl inside of him and merge into one glorious being. Oh no! What? You stop massaging him immediately. Aren't you watching the movie, lad? Uh, sure. You look at the TV and see Goff laying face down on the field. Poor fucker. Well, I guess them's the breaks. You did a great job with the rub, lad, but I think that'll do it. Oh, okay, glad to help. You contemplate whether to ask if his butt is sore. Ugh, it's freezing. This chill's getting to me Irish blood. Think you could spare a bit of that blanket. Ah, now we're talking. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. The movie continues. Goff is about to kiss his girlfriend, Marianne, when he's struck by his narcolepsy and collapses asleep onto her. Holy hell, this movie. Furious, she breaks off their engagement. Goff nurses his broken heart with some whiskey as he strolls drunkenly along some train tracks. Luke sighs, sniffling a bit. He glances over at you, eyes filled with tears. Alright, so this is your chance, kids. You gotta, you gotta be decisive here. Go ahead and lean in and kiss him. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, but you gotta do it. You extend your head towards Luke's. I just called him I've been playing too much League. You extend your head towards Luke, looking deep into his eyes. Within an inch of his face, he finally notices your approach and jolts his head away from you. What the hell are you doing? Have you gone mad? Uh... No. Are you trying to kiss me? Yes? Question mark. What the hell, Mark? 
the fuck? Well, I just thought... What? I mean, you were giving me so many signals. Signals? I'm, I'm not in the lads, lad. What? How'd you get that idea? I mean, honestly, I'm just sitting here watching the movie. But... Growfinder? What about it? Dot dot dot. It's an app that my roommate created, and it's a dating app. What? I thought it was an app for finding bros. I mean, it's right there in the title, Bro Finder. I mean, technically speaking, it could be used for that too, but it's really for finding um, particularly gentlemen, um, as I like to call them. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 intensifies. <laughs> Oh, it's funny, right? You thought we were just watching a movie, and you thought this was a date. Yeah, and I totally thought we were going to have sex, and that you were going to wear me like a hand puppet. Well, wait till I tell the lads back in Waterford about this. They'll never let me live it down. You know, Streams Fix, Stream Flicks and Chill is actually code language for hooking up, right? Oh, shit. I've made an ass of myself, haven't I? Well, it seems so. Anyway, this is a little awkward, but I really need to get the fuck out of here. Um, I can't stand to watch another moment of this movie. Likewise, Mark. We'll see you around. Maybe I'll check out a rugby game or something sometime. Sounds good, mate. Take it easy. So don't give up at this part, because I actually went back and replayed through this several times, because I thought I had failed. I was like, where the fuck is the dick at? Um, but... Um, you really are supposed to keep going. So you turn to leave the frat house, closing the door behind you. Before you can walk away, however. Uh, hey, Mark. Oh, see, he's trying to entice you again with that stance. Um, hey, Mark. Uh, yeah? You know, since you're already over here, do you want to finish up the movie? Yes. Yes. Great. I think it's getting to the good part. Goff's training himself to be able to play while he's asleep. That sounds like a thing, I guess. So let's see what happens. Uh, the two of you reconvene on the sofa, and to your surprise, Luke offers you a share of the blanket. You watch the remainder of While I Sleep, astonished by Luke's seemingly unending appetite for unintentional narcoleptic humor. You watch with morbid curiosity as the movie finishes up, with Goff waking up at the last possible moment and catching the ankle of a breakaway opponent. The movie mercifully ends. Goff, of course, ends up the hero who saves the game. Cheered by his teammates in the embrace of his true love, Marianne, the movie fades to black. That's cool, can I have sex now? Um, because I, I feel like this was a lot more labor than I thought it'd be. Oh, was that phenomenal, or was that phenomenal? Um, so you can actually answer either one here. I'm gonna just go with him and just work with it. Nothing beats a good movie, huh? You know, Mark, I was thinking about the conversation we had earlier. Oh, what about... Um, eyes emoji. Uh, about being open to new experiences. Yeah, what about it? Well that need to go with the flow where you wind up doing the same shit your whole life. What are you saying? I think... Oh my god, this is so corny. <laughs> I think all the flow has gone to my dick, if you know what I mean. Luke looks sheepish. Dot dot dot. So, um, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna... Well, for one, clearly you have to offer your services, because a gentleman never lets another gentleman go wanting. Um, but, I'm not gonna show that on camera, cause he has a gigantic dong that's gonna take up like half the screen, and I'm not looking to get this video flagged. So, uh, I actually have already posted it on Tumblr, so that it doesn't end up like the stuff with Brad, where I say I'm gonna do it and I never do it. It's already on Tumblr, the link's gonna be in the description. If you wanna see the not safe for work stuff, it's gonna be in the link in the description. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here, and then meet back with you after we get a face full of wiener. Alright, and we're back. So, uh, I am not going to lie, we just sucked the goddamn soul out that boy. So, if you can watch the video, if you're 18 or over, 
uh, feel free to check it out. Um, otherwise, you can just listen to this dialogue and you can guess uh, what we did. So, <clears throat> you pop back up from beneath the blanket and return to your spot on the couch next to Luke. I am fucking speechless. How did you do that? Oh, perhaps I have the gift. Gift? It's like a superpower. Oh, I should get the whole alter ego thing going. Costume and a really cool name. Uh, Captain Fellatio and the Fellatiateers, putting an end to middling, unenthusiastic blowjobs wherever they may hide. Anyway, oh, wow. If you ever want to stream Flicks and Chill again, you should hit me up. I wouldn't mind trying out, you know, uh, some different things with you. Uh, I don't know, it depends. What movie are you thinking about watching? Well, I have been wanting to see the one about the Olympic bobsledder with Pariasis. Psoriasis, my bad. Oh, hot. I'm in. Brilliant. I get the feeling we'll be seeing each other again. I mean, if you keep looking like the way you look, I might as well just uh, crawl inside of you and live there for the winter. But anyway, um, I hope so. Let me know if you'd like to come watch a game. Gotta spread the good word about rugby and all. I very well may take you up on that offer. And your date has ended. So this is basically the end screen. If you fuck up, you get shoved directly to the screen. Basically, you know you got the good ending for the Brofinder dates if you got laid and you're on amiable terms at the end once you hit this screen. Um, it is also, like I said, possible to fucking die during these, although this is not one of them where you can die. So, in any case, thanks for watching, y'all. Uh, it's been fun recording these again. It's been a while. So, what I also recommend doing is my update schedule is going to be an alternating between doing these videos and then also Oracle of Ages. I recommend checking out those videos, or maybe even my Oregon Trail videos, just because they are pretty neat and you get to experience more of me and my happy, fun laugh times. So, in any case, I'll catch you nerds later. Thanks for watching, and 